my dear students good afternoon all of you how are you all i hope you all are fine and safe at your home so students i am your tajib sir and today we are going to do and today we are going to learn new exercise and a new topic okay in last session we have done our exercise number third d okay students and now new sessions we are going to learn exercise number third exercise number third f so students let's check here first of all today's code and then after we move on our new sessions so let's check here today's code today's code is don't tell to people don't tell to people your dream show them understood today's quote is what Do, don't tell up tell to people your dream show them and understood all of you okay so students now today's content is what let's check revision exercise number third f question number one is we have done in last session and question number two today we are going to learn application in real life problem solving okay and then new topic is new topic is that a uh, application in real life and problem solving building a skill problem without numbers okay so first of all we complete here question number two application in real life and then we start the new topic understood all students i hope you all are stu all students sit properly and you take take your book and any pencil or pen okay and mention and you must be a mention uh, important topics important calculation and importance things okay students so students now we are starting here with exercise number third f question number two application in real life what all students exercise number third f question number two application in real life understood all students application in real life application in real life is as a problem solving so now let's check here the problem solving so question number one is what question number one is hina brought a three pair of earrings okay hina brought a three pair of earring e earring is a jeweler a ladies jewelry a girl or a woman jewelries okay Hina brought a three pair of earrings, each pair costing in pair. How many e earrings will become in one pair? Two e earrings will be come. On, on the student, all students, in a one pair, in a one pair, two e earrings will be come. Okay, so each pair costing means each means what one pair means one pair so how many e e earrings will become there there are two okay each pair means two earrings is come there means each pair each pair costing 85 85 rupees per earring per pair earring costing then how much change did she get how much change did she get back from a 500 knot understood all students hina brought a three pair of earrings hina brought a three pairs of pair pairs of earring each pair costing 85 rupees and how much change did she back from a 500 knot so first of all we understand and uh, then we write the answers okay hina is the name of girl and she brought a three pair of earring and each pair costing 85 rupees and she give to a shopkeeper 500 rupees so how much change did she back understood all students so first of all we write the she brought a three pair of earring importance detail is what three pairs then after each pair costing 85 rupees 85 rupees then each pair costing 85 rupees then after she get back from a 500 rupees so what to do here all students here only we know the each pair costing 85 
and she brought a thief three pair so one pair price and three pairs of earring multiply with numbers okay so 85 85 is what a uh, each pair costing of earring and three is what hina brought a three pair of e earring so 85 multiply by three so three fives are how many was all students three fives are 15 five here and one as a form of carry three fives are 15 3 5 are 15, 5 here and 1 as a form of carry. Then after 3 8 are 24, 24 plus 1 is equal to 25, 20, uh, 3 8 are 24, 24 plus 1 is equal to 25. So 25, 25, so 255, okay. Okay, all students, Hina brought 3 pair of earring and its cost is 255 but he now give to a shopkeeper 500 rupees and a pair of three pair of earring is 255 so how much she get back from to the shopkeeper so 500 minus 205 is 255 is what 255 is a cost of three pair of earring 500 she give okay so 500 minus 255 so 0 minus 5 0 minus 5 so how many old students we can get out from 0 to 5 no we cannot easily take out from 0 to 5 so we put that that, that time borrow we take the borrow 10 minus sorry 10 plus 0 is equal to 10 okay then after 10 minus 5 10 minus 5 is equal to 5 so we put here the 5 then after what to do further is 0 so we cut the 0 and put the 9 9 minus 5 is equal to how how many was done 9 minus 5 is equal to 4 9 minus 5 is equal to 4 then after again we cut the 5 why because of we are we are here taking the 9 understood we are taking here the take the 9 that's why we are cut the further digit 5 and put the small digit 4 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 so what we got here 245 and understood all students 245 he now she get back from 500 notes to 245 rupees as a get back return okay shopkeeper give a 245 return two of 500 not understood all students got my point i hope you all are understood now students we move on question number b so let's check here the question number b and do question number b question number b is shital had 500 rupees shital is how many Sita less 500 rupees? She spent a uh, 178. She spent 178.15 paisa. 78, 178 rupees 15 paisa. And she earned 249. Earn means a purchase taking okay how much money how much money does she now have first first of all what to do she had 500 she spent 170 and then after she earned 249 and then she earned means take okay so first of all what to do 500 minus 178 okay she she had a uh, this uh, this rupees and she spent this rupees so 500 minus 178 rupees 15 paisa and then what we got answer then we add 249 so do here all students Sheetal had 500 rupees she spent 170 rupees 0.15 paisa and she earned 249 Sheetal had 500 rupees she spent 178 rupees 0.15 paisa then she earned 249 understood so what to do first step first step is subtraction what all students first step is a subtraction then so 
students what to do all students that time that time we do first subtraction so 500 minus 178 so 500 minus 178 rupees 0.15 paisa 0 minus 0 is equal to 0 then after 0 minus 5 we can easily take out no we cannot take out easily 0 to 5 so take the borrow that time 10 plus 0 is equal to 10 10 plus 0 is equal to 10 then after 10 minus this 5 10 minus 5 is equal to all students 5 okay then after this dot put a same place okay this dot point is put we put on same place then after 0 so what to do further we take the borrow then after comes 0 so we cut the 0 and put the 9 9 minus 8 9 minus 8 so how many all students 1 9 minus 8 is equal to 1 then again we cut the this 0 and put the 9 understood we cut the 0 and put the 9 9 minus 7 9 minus 7 so how many all students 2 9 minus 7 is equal to 2 9 minus 7 is equal to 2 and then what to do all students again we cut the further this because of we are taking here the 9 okay that's why and then we cut 9 so we again we do the cut and put the small number so 5 cut and put the small number 4 4 minus 1 is equal to how many all students 4 minus 1 so 3 understood 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 so what we got here answer 321 rupees 50 paisa 321 rupees 321 rupees 15 paisa 500 500 minus 178 rupees 15 paisa so we got 321 rupees 15 paisa understood all students okay now what to do 321 rupees 15 paisa plus 2 uh, she earn okay 249 321 plus 249 321 rupees 15 paisa plus 249 so we do here the addition all students 0 plus 0 so how many all students 0 5 plus 0 is equal to 5 and this point is we put uh, on same place okay then after 9 plus 1 is equal to how many all students 9 plus 1 is equal to 10 so 0 here and 1 as a form of carry 9 plus 1 is equal to 10 so 10 of 0 here and 1 as a form of carry then after 4 plus 2 5 and 6 6 plus 1 of carry so 7 7 we put here and 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 so we got here 570.15 paisa understood 570.15 paisa Sheetal had 500 and she spent 170 rupees 0.15 paisa and then only now she had 321 rupees 0.15 paisa and then now she earned 249 so we got the total now she had now she have 517 rupees 15 paisa understood now she tell have 517 point 15 paisa understood all students i hope you all are understood betterly now students we move on question number c let's check here the question number c and do the question number do the question number c now students let's set the question number c what is the question number c so question number c a toy car a toy car cost 79 rupees 15 paisa what all students a toy car cost 79 rupees 15 paisa a set of batteries cost 28 rupees and how much does it cost to buy a two of each means what is means of this problems so the first of all we read and un understand and then we are decide what to do and then after we solve and then after we write the answer a toy car okay so students a car cost is 79 rupees 15 paisa and battery cost is 28 so we have buy a two toy car and two batteries 
so how much cost so we find here understood how much cost we find here 79.15 paisa 79.15 paisa 79 rupees 15 paisa multiply by 2 okay students and 28 multiply by 2 understood and then after we add both a answer and we get the how much does it cost of 2 understood so a toy car cost 79 rupees 50 paisa what all students a toy car cost 79 rupees 15 paisa and a set of battery cost what all students a set of batteries cost 28 rupees okay it cost of buy two of each we, all important digits are mentioned here all students got my point then now 79.15 multiply by 2 so 0 to the 0 to the 0 understood all students 0 to the 0 we put the 0 and 2 5 the 10 2 5 the 10 so 2 5 the 10 of 0 here and 1 as a form of carry and same here we put the same point on place of here then after 2 9 the 18 18 plus this carry 1 18 plus 1 means 90 understood 18 plus 1 is 19 9 here and 1 as a form of carry then after 2 7 the 14 14 plus 1 14 plus 1 is equal to 15 so 1 5 understood so answer is what got okay a cost of two cars is 159 rupees Un understood 159 rupees and then now what is the cost of battery two battery okay two batteries so 28 multiply by 2 2 8s are 16 6 year and 1 as a form of carry 2 8s are 16 6 year and 1 as a form of carry and 2 2s two are 4 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 so answer is what 50 6 28 multiply by 2 is equal to 58 2 2 batteries cost is 56 rupees and then now students we add a both cost cost here cost of car and cost of battery it's a cost of batteries and it's the cost of car we both are add and we find the cost of both each okay so 159 plus 56 56 is cost of two batteries and 159 is cost of two toy car understood all students 9 plus 6 is equal to 15 5 here and 1 as a form of carry then 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 10 plus 1 10 plus 1 is equal to how many all students 11 so 1 here and 1 as a form of carry then after 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 so answer is what 215 answer is what all students 215 so students how much does it cost means a uh, cost of two batteries and cost of two toy car is a uh, 215 rupees how much 215 rupees understood i hope you all are understood betterly now we move on question number d so let's check here the question number d all students how much change how much change will Vimal get back from 500 after paying for five books costing 85.25 each how much change will Vimal get back from 500 after paying five books costing 85 rupees 25 paisa it means a cost of book okay one here five books but one book cost is 85 rupees 25 paisa and Vimal get a uh, Vimal brought a uh, five books and each book has how much rupees 85 rupees 25 paisa and she give a uh, 500 rupees so how, so how much change will Vimal get back from to 500 rupees understood so what to do here all students decide here okay here cost of one book and multiply with five books okay so 85 rupees 25 paisa multiply by 5 85 rupees multiply by 25 85.85 rupees 0.25 sorry 85 rupees 25 paisa multiply by 5 so 5 5 is 5 5 is all students 25 
5 here and 2 is a form of carry 5 5 is a 25 5 here and 2 is a form of carry then after 5 2 is a 10 10 plus this carry 2 10 plus 2 is equal to 12 so 2 here and 1 is a form of carry understood and then this point same play uh, we put on a same place we put here 5 5 5 is a 25 25 plus 126 okay 26 all students 5 5 is a 25 25 plus 1 means 26 6 here and 2 is a form of carry understood 2 is a form of carry and 5 is a 14 14 plus this 2 carry so 42 understood answer is what all students 5 8 is a 14 14 plus this 2 carry so 42 so 85 rupees multiplied by 25 85 rupees 25 paisa multiplied by 5 is equal to 426.25 okay F a cost of 5 book is 426 rupees 25 paisa now we will give to shopkeeper 500 rupees so how much we will get back understood so we, we do here the subtract here subtraction okay so 500 minus 426 rupees 25 paisa 500 minus 426.25 paisa so 0 minus 5 0 minus 5 so it is not possible so what to do that time that time we take the borrow 10 minus 5 10 minus 5 so how many all students 10 minus 5 is equal to 5 10 minus 5 is equal to 5 okay then after we cut the further digit and put the small digit 9 9 minus 2 is equal to 7 9 minus 2 is equal to 7 understood okay so 7 7 here and then after what to do we put the point on the same place understood we put the point on the same place then after what to do again also then 0 is there so cut the 0 and put the 9 9 minus 6 is equal to 3 9 my 9 this 9 minus 6 is equal to 3 and again we cut the digit because of 9 uh, 0 is also there so 0 cut and put the 9 9 minus 2 so 7 here 9 minus 6 is equal to 3 and here 9 minus 2 is equal to 7 then after what to do we cut the further digit again 5 cut and put the 4 what to do all students 5 cut and put the small digit 4 so 4 minus 4 is equal to 0 understood so answer is what 73 rupees 73 rupees 75 paisa 73 rupees 75 paisa we will get from of 500 to 73 rupees 75 paisa understood answer is what we got 73 rupees 75 paisa understood i hope you all are understood betterly again students i am repeating this sum how much change will we will get back from 500 okay it means what we will uh, we will how much rupees will get a back how much rupees will get a back from to shopkeeper 500 to and after paying means what after means next next paying a for five book okay means we will we must have that time a brought of five books okay and what is the cost of one book 85 rupees 25 paisa so 85 multi 85 rupees multiply 85 rupees 25 paisa multiply by five books so 85 multiply by 25 so we got 426 and then 500 minus 426 rupees and 25 paisa and we got the 70 73 rupees 75 paisa 73 rupees 75 paisa understood i hope you all are understood now students we move on question number e okay so let's check here what is the question number e so first of all what to do all students i hope you all are remember the all step of problem solving okay again we i'll give here the 
रिमाइंडर और वी डू हियर द रिविज फर्स्ट स्टेप इज वॉट रीड द प्रॉब्लम एंड अंडरस्टैंड द रीड द क्वेश्चन एंड अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम वॉट ऑल स्टूडेंट्स रीड द क्वेश्चन एंड अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम अंडरस्टूड देन आफ्टर एंड आफ्टर सेकेंड पॉइंट स्टेप इज वॉट फाइन द इम्पोर्टेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन गिवन इन द problems what all students step number 1 is done read the problem and understand the question find the important information give in the problem what to do all students we have to collect the important detail information means collect the data find the information which kind of numbers okay here is a uh, 8 hours and a uh, she was paid 195 hours that is both importance information Im importance data understood all students it is important for us all students and then after step number 3 decide what to do we have a decide that time what to do and step number 4 solve the problem and answer the question what all students step number 3 decide what to do and step number 4 solve the problem and answer the question got my point all students okay so students we revise here the all step okay now we follow the all step okay one by one so uh, Aksh akshina work for 8 hours at the exhibition she work for 8 hours at the exhibition and she was paid 195 and hour and hour how much did she earn okay so what to do here simple multiplication okay here she pays 1 hour 1 hours costing is 195 and she work 8 hours so 195 multiply by 8 what to do all students here simple is akshina work for 8 hours in exhibition akshina work for 8 hours at the exhibition and she was paid 195 an hour understood she was paid 195 so students understood what is this question and how much did she earn means she take okay she get understood all students so one hour paid is one hour cost or paid is 195 so how much cost of 8 hours understood so what to do here multiplication 195 multiply by 8 akshina work for 8 hours at the exhibition she was paid 195 and hours so 195 multiply by 8 so we do here 8 fives are 8 fives are 14 8 fives how many all students 14 8 ones are 8 8 twos are 16 8 threes are 24 8 fours are 32 8 fives are 14 okay so 8 fives are 14 of 14 of this 0 14 of 0 is here and 4 is a form of carry 14 of 0 is here and 4 is a form of carry then after 8 9 za how many old students 72 8 9 za 72 72 plus 4 72 plus 4 73 74 75 and 76 so 6 here and 7 as a form of carry 7 as a form of carry then after 8 ones are 8 8 plus 7 8 plus 7 so how many old students 8 plus 7 is equal to 15 understood 8 plus 7 is equal to 15 so what we got here answer 1516 1516 all students got my points 195 multiply by 8 so 1516 understood all students got my point so students akshina work 8 hours and she paid 195 so she earn she did earn 1516 understood work it 8 hours in ex exhibition okay i hope you all are understood and next topic is we have a discuss in next session Un understood all students next topic we have a discuss in next lecture i hope you all are understood betterly and students one more thing here you should be have write your homework in fair book exercise number this exercise exercise number third f question number Two application in real life is done here. 
okay so students today is your homework is what exercise number third exercise number third exercise number third f you should be have a write in your fair book only question number two question number one is we have a done okay so question number two uh, one and two we both write in fair book one time understood i hope you all are understood betterly thank you so much all of you thank you all students thank you all students